right, with the last Nastasine freed, Commander Keen can chalk up another victory, but before he can celebrate, the Oracle tells Commander Keen that the Shikati are building a machine called the Armageddon Machine with the intent of blowing up the galaxy. How cliche. One thing I didn't mention in my last review is that Commander Keen stunned his parents before leaving for Nastis 4. Yeah, that's real smart. To make things even more bizarre, Keen had no sympathy for what he did, nor any concern for their well-being. With that out of the way, now I can concentrate on the game itself. The gameplay for the most part is the same as before, but this time around with the exception of the first level, you need to collect a key in order to exit the level. When you beat the first two levels, you come to the only part of the game that has a fork in the road. There are eight levels that can be completed in any order before you can open the door that's next to Keen. I'll be honest here, this game has the least amount of replayability, but I'll explain that later. This area contains two parts, a defense tunnel and reactor. The defense tunnel levels are pretty straightforward. The reactor levels, however, have a unique way of exiting the level. You have to break the fuse in each machine, but how do you do it? Do you just jump? No. Do you downward shoot? No. You pogo into the fuse, thus breaking it, and then you leave the level. That's an odd way of shutting down a machine. It'd be like me turning off my camera by just punching at the camera. When you shut down the last machine, the door that was previously locked now opens, and you come to the last two stages of the game. Going back to what I said about replayability, this game offers very little. Sure, you can, can complete the tunnels and reactors in a different order, but that really doesn't add much. The previous four games offered more replayability because of the larger selection of forks in the road. Also, unlike the other games, this one makes you play each level. Does having little replay value make this game bad? No, it doesn't. This is still a good game, but don't expect much replay. The graphics are average at best, but still doable. The enemies are also pretty cool. From purple guys that surf the internet to paranoid androids to the Big Ren machine. No, not that Big Ren machine. This Big Ren machine. He shoots first, asks questions later. He ranks as the coolest enemy in the series. The soundtrack is also average at best, unlike the previous game's soundtrack, where it was great. Here, not so much. Overall, Commander Keen Episode 5 is a good game, but you might want to play the other four if you want replay value. Commander Keen Episode 5 gets... Who can that be? I'll be right back. Can I help you? Are you Ken perchance? Yeah, what do you want? I'm here to put an end to your reviews. I don't think so. Sorry about that. As I was saying, Commander Keen Episode 5 gets 3 stars out of 5. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these two beauties right here. If you want to subscribe to my videos, click this button here. And if you want to see more of my videos, click this button over here.